Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You know that I've been doing some DIY homemade beauty treatments and some easy to follow recipes. Most of them should be your store cupboard ingredients. And I had a request and it was for any suggestions for dry brittle hair. So I did a bit of research and there's actually a very simple two ingredient recipe for exactly that, for the treatment of dry brittle hair and it's an old one, it's a trusted one, and it's one that you will actually see in a lot of books and a lot of recommendations, and it is milk and honey. And the reason is that the milk, it's, now it's got to be full fat milk, if it's skimmed milk and the fat's not there, then it's going to be really thin, and it's obviously gonna be missing some of the key ingredients to nourish the, the hair. So it's got to be full fat milk, the reason being, again, that it's very nourishing. It's very good. The proteins in it are very good for the hair. And it'll also give you a natural shine, which is what you want for that dryness to combat it. And then the honey is going to be very effective because honey is also nourishing. And it's also a natural humectant, which, as we know, means that it's drawing moisture from the hair. Sorry, not from the hair, from the air. <laughs> That's because it rhymes. The honey is drawing the moisture from the air into the hair and that means again it's going to combat that dryness also with the milk because there's a fat content in the milk that's going to help with the moisturization of the hair and that's going to help combat the brittleness and the end result will be that you will end up ideally having a much more noticeable shine to the hair and this is all you have to do so you'll get a cup because you're either going to be in your bath or shower and remember, I'm left-handed, so everything always looks a little bit awkward for me. Now, I'm just going to do half a cup because you would obviously make this up as fresh as you can to when you're actually going to be using the treatment. So if your hair's shorter, you're going to need less. If it's longer, you're going to need more. What you might want to do is warm up the milk because you're going to be pouring it over your hair. And if it's very cold milk, it might not feel so good because you're keeping it on the hair for about 10 or 20 minutes. And then it's just a, around about a tablespoon of honey. So what we'll do is just dip in the spoon. I haven't done this, but one of the tips that I think is really effective is to heat up your spoon. Because what happens is when you heat up the spoon, the honey slides off it a lot easier. So and to heat up the spoon, all you have to do is either run it under the hot tap or if you've boiled the kettle or you've got the hot water tap, you can just run it under the hot water there. Even if you just boiled the kettle and then you just sat the spoon in it for a sec, then the honey just slides off. But I didn't do that because I thought I might be talking so long to you that it would actually cool down. But as you can see, this is cold, but it is actually coming off quite easily. But you would just be nice and patient and allow the honey to mix in with the milk. Now, if you find that the milk is very thin, you can add a little bit of corn flour or flour and just whisk it in so you don't have lumps, but it just thickens it ever so slightly. But truthfully, it should be okay. And then what you'll do is wet your hair and then either tipping your head over a sink or backwards onto the sink as if it's the basin in the hairdressers, you're going to pour this combination over your hair, try and catch all of it, if you're worried that you haven't caught it all, then take a wide tooth comb and just comb through to catch it all. And then you're going to leave it for about 10, 20 minutes. And then what happens is it basically permeates into the skin, it gets into the follicles and it gets to work. Now what you can do is you can use a shower cap or you can use a towel or you can just leave it as it is. You can tie it up. It's completely up to you, but you're just going to treat it as if it's a hair mask. So even though it's liquidy, you're going to treat it as though it's a hair mask. And again, between about 10 and 20 minutes until it's absorbed and done its thing. And then when it's time, you're just going to rinse it off and then shampoo your hair as usual. And then at the end, when you've shampooed, if you want to condition, you can too. You should see a difference when you dry your hair and you see the end result. So again, it's about being patient with it. 
Now there's other things that you could add if you wanted. If you're confident with your essential oils and you want to ramp it up, then you could add a few drops of your chosen essential oil in too. But if you don't know why you're adding it and you're not sure what to do, then you can just leave it because the two ingredients on their own are incredibly effective. But that's me just mixed it in now. That's all it took. If you can see, that's it absorbed. But I would say make it as fresh as you can before you're going to use it. You could maybe pop it into the fridge or again have it gently warmed. And if you think it's going to be a little bit of a carry on doing it yourself, then if you've got a friend or a family member that's willing to help you, then you could do that thing that I'm sure we've all done when a friend gets you. Maybe they help you wash your hair or they help you dye your hair. Then you could get a friend to do it for you, do the pouring while you have your head over the bath or over the basin. And it's a bit easier if someone helps you, but it can also be a good laugh too. The amount of times where a friend has helped you wash your hair and dry your hair, if it's for a big night out or just for fun, and most of the time it just ends up being a big laugh, but it can also be very effective. So that is it, that's now absorbed in. So that is your recommendation for your dry, brittle hair, and it is literally honey and milk. Now there's so many other things you can do if you want to brighten up the hair. I mean, the old classics, has anyone used the beer or the lager on their hair? Again, the beer's meant to be a very excellent, if you like, um, brightener of your hair, really get the shine, get the cuticle looking absolutely pristine so that when you dry off your hair, when you shampoo it, that beer rinse has made it super bright. The only thing though is so many people do complain that their hair smells of beer, but again, that shouldn't be the final rinse. You should use your shampoo after it and hopefully that will be fine. But this is a key one for your dry, brittle hair. If you want to try it, let me know how it goes. It is such a well-known one if you are looking for DIY, do-it-yourself, homemade brighteners and something to counteract that brittleness. So it's by no means something that's new that we've just invented. It's been there for a long time because it works. So let me know if you try it. Let me know what you use if you've got your own recipe. And I will see you again soon.